You, I think you need you need a specific skill to be able to see the stats of the enemy. Probably. Oh, it's no longer raining. Uh, let me get the rain back out. <laughs> because that fire does hurt. Oh, it is only this guy left. Well, that's good to know. That was a quick turn by him. So I guess what's so much he could do. And he's stunned. Oh, it failed. No, it didn't. I, if you hover over him, it says stunned. Huh. And you're stunned, too. Oh. Damn it. Was he healed? You healed him. Oh, okay. So I guess fire damage heals him? Huh. Well the then. Or you know. <laughs> okay, well, we know that for next time now. <laughs> yep, I think I'm going to do a teleport to him. This next round. Oh, yeah. okay, let's try this first. Oh, uh, no, wait, this consumes four AP, so no, it's not going to do anything. It takes two, no. Wait, did that attack also healed? No, I don't think so. No, yeah, it says, it just said he was healed for 14 vitality. Slashing damage, sword 11. Hang on. Now he's got no skills on him or anything. What's going on? Why did he heal from that attack? No idea. All right, I'm gonna go teleport. How do I make him go up? Actually, I make him. I'm gonna make him go far, far away. <laughs> what? He took 31 resistance to burning, extra save against burning, was healed for 15. Oh, okay, so that's what it is. If he has a save with the burning, he heals, I think. I wonder. Yeah, they're immune oh, to the, poison. Uh, I, was, I was expecting to set up a smoke, uh, poison cloud which would then detonate because he's on fire. I'm gonna move on over here, save my extra points, the next turn I can summon another spider. Used to wing defeat. Yeah, he's covering him. I guess that him lots of movement. Lots enough from the closest distance. Now for level two, this guy is sturdy. <laughs> Yeah, I definitely think my earth damage is about... Earth and lightning are about my only two things of damage that I can do to them. Okay. I'll be able to take the next hits to fame.
Love and love the music that plays when you summon a spider. <laughs> oh, I'm stunned. Yep. Apparently. Well, you're so in a puddle got some of water. Kind of ability. Oh, the water. How, how, when did the water get to my feet there? That area was dry. Uh, yeah. No idea. Another heal for you. I think you'll be stunned for two turns. At least I'll have a heal for two turns. Hmm. And I go down, and now's a good thing I got the spider out. Because at least the spider can still do something. Yep. Whoops, I hit the wrong thing. Did you flee? Yes, by accident. I think I... you can st you can walk back and then just kind of rejoin the fight. Uh, so that was... Okay, I gotta get in the house then. It literally put, put me all the way out in the, uh, world. So don't do anything <laughs> how'd you, yet. How'd you, how'd you even... How'd you hit the flea button? It's all the way on the right for me. Yeah, and guess where the end turn button is? All the way on the right. No, it's next to my action bar at the bottom. The yeah. blue... St the blue sand thing. Which my flea is right next to my end turn combat. Okay, so the space bar is also end turn yeah. combat. Yeah, well, yeah, I see there's a delay your turn shield there, but if you go to your hot bar at the bottom, there's a blue symbol. That also is used to end your combat turn. That's what I've been using. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to hold off. Yep, just hold on. Just I'm, there, I'm running back. All right, you're gonna have to, you have to make your way for the traps, don't you? Spider has so inventory, right? Say so I'm stunned. Nice, there was like a way to. So, what does hover do? It basically makes him so that anything like oil and such, he's uh, unaffected by it. Guess. And also, I can improve his movement speed, I get the feeling. Yep. Huh. Spider attacked him and immediately set all the oil on the ground on fire. Skeletal Forester is almost dead, though. I'm a coming. I'll just have to remember hit spacebar. Yeah. This attack might let's see. Square alone help. This attack will hopefully finish him off. I'm I'm in the cellar now. now. Let me come through. Oh wait, you now you're now making your way through the traps? Yes. Dang. It literally put me at the very like beginning waypoint thing. Oh at the oh like at the at the gate basically. Yep. All right, I'm here. Okay, and you're back in combat. Good. Yep. Go for it. Okay. Rock from the heavens! Well, you said everything on fire. Good thing there's water right there. But I'm stunned, so I can't move into the water. Or I can just do that. Thank you. Alright, well, that was something. <laughs> Sorry. What's well, some raw meat here? Can we go up the right side first? Yeah, may as well. 
Oh, ah, uh, yep. Yeah. All right, more. A fumbling undead mage. Ow. Okay, those two are melee guys. So I yeah. am going to... Uh, um, the spider and me will focus on the melee. Maybe, maybe you're gonna focus. The, the, uh, the mace has something called the improved initiative aura on him. Yeah, he does, doesn't he? Oh, you set him on fire, at least. Yep, I did. Nice. Got now, him all. Now, don't go any closer. I plan to put a spider right here. There we go. That way, they have to either walk around, or go past, or go by the spider. <laughs> oh, yeah, and the oil slows them down, too. Yup. Alright, so... Seems you got a melee target. That... <laughs> that fumbling undead mage is probably gonna die from the fire next turn. Look at his health. Oh yeah, look at that health. So I'm gonna put a frost shield on your spider. Frost shield? Isn't that gonna make him vulnerable to f fire? Yeah, but hopefully that mage dies. Uh... I'll just, uh... Leave that, let them you. come to you. I would say I let them come to you. Yeah. Well, there is Undead Killer right here, and it's that he's right on the edge of the fire. Oh, nice. There we go. And, yeah, I'm sure that's just, let's just stay there. Uh, I do have one, let's see, Crushing Fist. Oh, I mm -hmm. can't see the, the Undead Mage because of all the smoke. It is right up. No, oh, I, I can see where his glow is. No, I said if I were to try and do it, like I want to cast Crushing Fist on him, but I can't because I can't see him. You can't Let's just try hit the ground? Close. You can't just hit the ground? No, I have, I have to specifically target an enemy. Oh, uh, you can't be like me and I have ground AoEs. Uh, let's see, so he's 4 AP, so if I... About he's here, pretty inch. deep in. Yeah, it, I just flat out can't see him. But he dead anyway. And there he goes anyway. <laughs> oh, there was still under swordsman. He also knows regeneration. No, that that's a archer. That's a swordsman. Yeah, I call him a swordsman. <laughs> I thought you said swordsman. And he's sorcerer. still on fire, probably because that puddle. He's just barely standing in. Face the unending darkness. All right, let me put out the there fire. He goes. <laughs> Let me, let me put out my fire. Oh, yeah. And don't forget, I actually have an oil barrel on me. For the really fire on the go. And heal. Dead mage. Ooh. Nope, nothing in this skeleton. Oh, it's a cursing hour here. Selling fodder. Ooh, iron ore. Just pure iron oh, watch ore. Watch out. Ooh, I, I just. Oh. <laughs> Explosive. Expo skeletons. Uh, okay. So... I get the feeling they're gonna be vulnerable to fire. I am going to lay down some traps for them. There's, I just noticed there's an oil barrel right next to them. Right. Uh, well, spider, you uh just uh block them. There we go. <laughs> oh, they can't even get out of the oil. And now it's yeah, time no, for I, them I don't to care. Burn. I don't really care if you set, set them on fire because uh, <laughs> the spider is expendable anyway. <laughs> now to put out my fire. Alright. See, once we act. It's just that one scorcher. He just worked very weird. Yep, he certainly did. Okay, well, since we didn't actually use it, I'm just gonna yoink. <laughs> since you didn't use it, I'm going to yoink it. Uh, I, I still have one. Not, 
There was a bone in here that had some special properties. Special effects. Most organic material can be used into for a turn to dark purposes or light. Oh, we had a save. Oh, that was an auto. Oh, save. there's a there's a ladder here. Uh, okay. Oh. <laughs> oh. Hello. So if we so if we had dug the big old mound in the middle of the graveyard, we would have found this path. Interesting. Interesting. All right, back in we go. Oh, so that's how you're supposed to get in in the abandoned store without breaking your way in. It's oh, via this path. Really? Oh, yep, that is. That's how you do it. We we, you, we just had a thieving mage, that's all. Yeah, we had just someone who would just rush around. You, you, you are basically a case of smashing your head against the wall Wait, until the on. wall breaks. Okay. <laughs> okay. So let's keep going. Let's go to the right then. I keep going north. Let's light these torches to keep track of where I've been. Yeah, my rain keeps putting them out, just so you know. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, wolf, wolf off. Hello there, buddy. You see a shady-looking figure fishing coins of gold out of the muddy water. Uh, fishing coins, gold in muddy water, pulls me to. His moves are quick and nervous, but nevertheless, he seems to enjoy stuffing what cash he can find. Many pockets of his shady garb, shabby garb. I think you might have found a fellow thief. I think so. Or you know. In his coin hoarder, but at first he doesn't notice your presence. Suddenly, though, he pauses, looks up, and quick as a cat, its talons readies two daggers. Your friendly tone of voice has immediate effect. The man quickly relaxes his aggressive stance sheaths his weapons and pulls a quill and a scrap of parchment out of one of his pockets oh he writes down a couple of phrases oh he's a uh, mute yep mute can't speak you look professional you just sort out of the wizard after all excitedly the man turns over the scrap and pens a few more lines <laughs> oh i love this character already nice. yeah he's pretty cool i admire you now here i got source hunter source is dead end please let me Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm all for him joining, don't you agree? Yeah, another companion, that would be nice. Wargroth nods enthusiastically and pulls a couple of ripped parchment pieces out from his vestments. Hastily, he covers them with words and pushes them in your hands, one after the other. Been mute since I was a kid. Sorcerers took my voice. People think I'm stupid. I'm not. Get money, food where I can. Steal if I must. Ooh, yeah, you're right, he's a thief. Good <laughs> Things you've done. And, and and good of locks and and very perceptive. Make him pay, please. Yeah, he'd make a good fit. He'd he'd make it. He'd be very good buddy for you. Oh, he has puppy eyes. <laughs> Consider yourself hired. I could use someone with your specific type of expertise. Consider yourself hired. Be welcome, Wolgraf. Riches await. If you'll obtain them for us. <laughs> smiles and shakes your hand in thanks. With a gesture of the arm, he seems to say, I'm ready. Lead the way. Okay. Ah! So, just to, so just to know, that chain over there represents that you are the one that controls him in combat. Ah, okay. So I'm the one that controls him in combat. Oh, interesting. Yeah. <laughs> huh? But you can also separate them and have them their own themselves, too. Uh, okay. I'm outside of town now. I'm outside of the town walls. Interesting. There are level three enemies here. I'm going back down the well. And we still got some gold down here to grab. Of course. <laughs> Oops, wrong button. a lot of gold coins right, in here. So he has. Where's the skills? He has two in dual wield. He has two in scoundrel. One in lock picking, one in pickpocketing, and one in sneaking. His talents are backstabber, escapist, light stepper. Basically, he needs to lead the way whenever we're in a strap-hone area. Oh, yeah. yeah definitely. 
Y'all and up we go. Uh, yeah, let's first explore the rest of the cave because, yeah, up there's outside the walls, a bunch of undead. Oh, uh, okay. There's more in this cave? Yeah, there's a path down here at the beginning we missed. There is? Oh, okay. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, it keeps going. Uh, oil barrel there. May as well set that thing off to uh, make getting food there easy quicker. Ah, so we've lost the chests. Actually, nah, fuck Use it. the chests first. Yoink. Oh, I'm over encumbered. <laughs> I've got too many barrels. I spotted a trap. You spotted a trap. Oh, yep, there it is. All right, back up. Oh, yeah, excellent. I'm, I'm mine. Let me go ahead and make it go boom. Still encumbered. I uh, could bring you too. There. The trap's still there. Yeah, I know. Hold on. I'm trying to walk around so I can. Can you just cast uh, your little firebolt on it? Yes, I know, but it would destroy these barrels. You know me and my greed. Could just okay. whoop. Okay. Let's, I'm backing away now. We're going to blow it. You're going to. Ooh. I'm going to make through now. <laughs> I'm going to make it go boom. Yeah, I said make it rain. Uh, that's just uh, so oil patch. Steel bar. Woo! And a nail, a nail bomb. Oh, that was. Well, I'll be holding on to that nail bomb, though. Do you want? The, you want some more nail bombs? I got some more nail bombs. Yeah, sure. I've I've pretty much got skills where I'm. Uh, I've got extended range, and so my throws will always be pinpoint accurate with grenades. Nice. So any grenades you've got, hand them over to me. Ooh, wait, hold on. I wonder if we can dis. Uh, does he have disarm trap? Or can he get disarm trap? I wonder if that's under scoundrel. I think disarm trap would be a talent. Well, I mean, I have. Ooh, okay. I'm looking at his seals. He has lacerate, fast track. Walk in shadows. 90% chance to set invisibility to set invisibility status for five turns. Nice. All right. So with him, I'm going to do, I'm going to send myself stuff to him. Because I got some disarm trap stuff. There we go, disarmed. Oh, that actually makes that so much easier now. Mm hmm I disarmed the trap. Yeah, yeah, nice. Actually, I'm gonna let him do the leading. <laughs> oh, Ooh. Hello. Hello. I thought I for money. Wait, hold on. I think I got a pickaxe. Do I got a pickaxe? I got an axe. Oh, so there's another way up over here. Uh, some braces and some gold. Ooh, lockpicks. Huh, nice. That's also definitely going to wool. Even though I'm the thief. Uh, what's the rating of your braces at the moment? Because I've got some cloth braces here. Uh, bracers, they are 13 armor. Okay, then my current one are worse, so sell them off. And wool, uh, wolf is uh, 11. He wears leather. Current, yeah, the same I've got then. All right, well, I guess let's see what's up. Uh, so you, do you have pickaxe? No, I do not. I think I've sold pickaxes I've actually come across. Oh, 
Oh, there's this that chest. Oh, that chest that we were wondering. Unidentified cloth cap, unidentified wooden earth staff, and a light gold teaspoon. Oh, let me uh, do the identifying. Yeah, so set to Draco, and there's also uh, earth staff for you. That's also for you. Stuff in there that's pretty much just meant for you. Oh, that earth staff is actually pretty good. Oh, that he that helmet is nice. It adds to my identify. Nice. So it gives me seven more HP and oh no, it's not uh, identify. It's leadership. Mm. I got the leadership skill now. All right, can we? No, we can't get out. So we have to go oh, back. Oh, the same we met old elf. It's in a room and a king crab. Need. Okay, apparently there's someone. There's diff. You know, even though we went had to meet someone else in the king crab and he attacked us, apparently there's someone else who wants to talk with us in the king crab. Oh really? Yeah. Want to investigate that next? Sure. I'm. I'm just glad we're starting to fill out our party now. Yeah. Yeah, so our next, our next uh, pipe thing is pretty much this. We gotta. F oh yeah, no, I'm not taking this way. <laughs> I'm taking the ladder, uh, at least to the graveyard. I have to deal with the traps. In <laughs> Are you coming up? Hmm? I said, are you coming up? Uh, I went to find a grave route. Gra graveyard. Ah, okay. You went that route. I'm not, I'm not going through the trap hole again. <laughs> oh, yeah. you And you should have the teleportation pyramid that should take you right to me. Oh, okay. I'm gonna go see the lady. Oh no, you have the other one. That's right. That's right. You have the other one. Yep. Yeah. So yeah. So you're no longer gonna be teleporting in a woman in the bathtub. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Okay. So let's go to the king crabs. And it is a very RPG. It is very RPG. Do you like? Oh. The, do you hey. like the bonus? I <laughs> Mask of the characters, the Duke of Feral is down here as well. We need to have a chat with him. Because he was in that he was the one who wrote that love poem. This game is very in depth with story and lore and everything. I am the Duke of Feral. Though I suppose my name is in the mouths of enough roots. Gossipers, that you've heard of me by now. It's very tragic news. I won't posture and say that the counselor and I were anything near allies, but I truly never wish the man harm. Oh, yeah, about this love letter. I've written Esmeralda more works of lyrical mastery than I can count. All that letter proves is my devotion to my lady, not any actual intention to do away with Jake. Mm. Okay. So apparently it's just a regular thing. He just keeps sending love letters out. I need to. I need to actually go sell off some stuff. Cause my you aren't the only one. Before. We'll have none of that, you hear? Okay, yes, I know. I have slighted you. I have given I have stolen from you. Here, have some stuff I don't need that we also don't need that is not a lot of money. <laughs> uh are you are you finally settling?